Hello, hello, how are you doing? Wherever you are, my name is Dr. Jess and um, welcome to the first episode of um, my show called my series uh, discussions with Dr. Jess. I am uh, also uh, the owner and founder of uh, Kempton Communications, which is a coaching and um, which is a coaching agency and a, a communication agency, marketing agency. So, uh, but also in my spare time, I like to talk about topics that I I find relevant, important for women in Africa. And uh, in this first episode, we will talk about a uh, letter. I mean, not really talk about, but I'm going to read to you a letter I wrote several years ago. Several years ago, as a doctor student, it's titled. Uh, letter to my 18 years old self. I will read today, maybe another video, I will talk more about why I decided to write this letter. So no further ado, I will read and I will comment about the letter in a separate video. So, but briefly speaking, I dedicate this letter to all 18 years old and anyone that recognize themselves in this letter. So this letter for you or young lady out there that feels that um, you are pressure to get married, to have children, wherever you are, this is for you. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and go to um, my blog where I share the actually posted the letter and it was originally written um, written and published on World Pulse. And I it was part of the World Pulse Story Hour program. So yes, I'm a award winner writer. And this story means a lot to me, this letter, because it's it was a point in my life where I felt like I can at least share some wisdom to uh, people that uh, to young women, to young girls out there that may have felt or are still feeling that way. So that was many, many years ago on, I believe, April 2019. So without further ado, I'm going to read a letter to you, and it goes this way. So a letter to my 18 years old self. The title is also the subtitle, I see your future, you'll be a change maker. Dear Jessica. Happy birthday. You just turned 18 and your head is full of concern. You wonder how you will realize this dream by your 25th birthday, the age at which our society expects you to be married and to have your first child. You have seen numerous examples of your peers following this path, making you feel that having a son and raising his children is a woman's ultimate calling. Now that you are 18, you're a woman. Now that you are 18, you feel pressure to marry and have children in the next seven years. In fact, you and your friends have been having long conversation about the joy of being respectfully called Madame, the watch you will wear on your wedding day, and the beautiful life you will have with your respective future husbands. Yes, marriage is a beautiful thing. Having a family is a noble dream. I share your excitement. I wish you to meet your Prince Charming. However, if you do not get married by the age of 25, don't blame yourself. Don't get married to someone because you think it's time, because your friends are getting married and or because your parents are pressuring you. It's not worth it. You may end up making the worst decision of your life. If it's meant to be, the right guy will come into your life at the right time. Yes, some friends will get married and have children before you. Family member 
will tease you about your singleness. Strangers will question you. Family and friends will offer the unwanted help. Some will tell you that you are too difficult and too picky. The worst part is that your single male peers will never be called those things or treated that way. After all, they are men and they can get married anytime. Yes, you will feel alone and lonely. You will cry, but don't worry, I've been there. Numbers time, I was teased for following my dreams. Family and friends questioned my singleness. I felt alone and lonely, but I never gave up on myself. I follow my dreams. I got my master's degree. I travel. I became fluent in English. I loved, I laughed, and I keep working on my dream to become a leader for my country and my continent. I know you love school very much. <laughs> I know you want to get your master's degree before getting married. I know you want to travel and discover new places around the world. I know you want to be fluent in English. I know you want to be a leader. I know you want to make the world a better place. The, the best thing you can do for yourself, right, is to enjoy your life fully. So follow your dreams. Get your master's degree, travel, learn English, love, laugh, become a leader, live your life. It's so worth it. You may end up making the best decision in your life. Through your different experiences, you will know more about yourself, life, and the world. And you will become... Great wife materials, I promise. <laughs> Is it just a number? Don't let social expectation keep you from becoming the great woman you are called to be. Don't compromise your greatness. I see your future. You will be a change maker. Your story will be a story of inspiration to many girls who want to dream big and lead. My dear, don't worry about the marriage deadline of 25. When it's meant to be, your husband will find you and together you will build the life of your dream. So this was, uh, like I say, uh, the, the story I wrote for, uh, to myself and it was selected and published by Wolf Post in 2019 we are in 2022 so that's about three years ago and I wrote this letter to myself to my 18 years old self I hope you enjoyed the reading um in a different uh, video I will go ahead and try to elaborate a little more on why I made that decision to um write that letter and what I meant and what I think about this letter as of now in 2022, three years ago. So thank you again for uh, taking the time to watch this video and feel free to comment below wherever you came across this, uh, this recording and uh, follow me on social media, on my YouTube channel and, and Instagram or, or most on LinkedIn. Otherwise, um, that's it for this video and I'll catch you to the next one. <laughs>